Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the inventory turnover ratio. We're going to explain exactly what it is, and we're also going to look at the formula, explain it, and look at an example of how to calculate the inventory turnover ratio. So what does it measure? Well, this ratio measures how quickly inventory is sold. Generally, the higher the inventory turnover, the better the enterprise is performing because the inventory is selling at a fast pace. Okay, so that's basically what it means. The higher it is, the faster the company is selling inventory. And we'll see how that works when we look at an example. This ratio is useful because it may indicate that some items or inventory may be turning over quite rapidly, whereas others may have failed to sell at all. The ratio is useful when compared to the previous year's ratio as well as competitors ratio okay so the ratio on its own may not mean much but when it's compared with other years of the company with the previous year for instance or the past five years and we see the trend that's when it will make sense or when we compare it to our competitors inventory turnover ratio and we'll see which one is performing better and like we say the higher it is generally the better it may appear to be it is possible, however, that the enterprise is incurring high stock out costs because not enough inventory is available. What does this mean? Well, if your inventory turnover ratio is high, that means you are selling your inventory pretty quickly, right? You are clearing your inventory pretty quickly. You have to stock them again, clear them again. But if, it's, if that's happening, it may indicate that the enterprise is incurring high stock out costs. And these are costs that you will incur because you don't have inventory to sell to your clients. Okay, so if you're turning over inventory very quickly, you may run out of stock and then you may have the issue of having to reorder and wait for it or not being able to service your client. So we have those costs which are called stock out costs. If you're selling your inventory very fast, that may be a good thing, but it may also incur some costs where you may run out of inventory and then you may have to wait for your order to come. Okay, so you have to bear that in mind when you are analyzing such a ratio. Here is the formula. What is the formula for the inventory turnover ratio? It's very simple. It's cost of sales or cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. Okay, so it's cost of goods sold, which we get in the statement of comprehensive income or the income statement divided by the average inventory, which we get in the statement of financial position or the balance sheet. And what do we mean by average inventory? Well, the average inventory is inventory at the beginning of the year plus inventory at the end of the year divided by two okay so we add those two together and we divide them by two to get the average inventory and what do you mean by inventory at the beginning of the year well inventory at the beginning of the year is the same as inventory as at the end of the previous year and inventory at the end of the year here is the one that we have for the current year okay the inventory at the end of the current year okay so let's go through an example which will help you understand what we've been talking about thus far here's an example we're given the statement of financial position which is the balance sheet over here and the statement of comprehensive income which is the income statement over here obviously we did not need everything you can see here we just have the asset portion we don't need the other portions because of what the formula needs okay and we are asked to calculate the inventory turnover ratio of the company and how do we do this remember the formula the formula is cost of goods sold which we get in the income statement as you can see here we have cost of goods sold of 475 000 divided by the average inventory okay so there is our formula cost of goods sold which is the 475 000 pretty easy divided by average inventory and what did we say average inventory is the inventory at the end of the previous year plus the inventory at the end of this year okay so here we have the statement of financial position for the end of 2017 and for the end of 2018 so suppose we are at the end of 2018 right now and we are calculating the inventory turnover ratio so let's look for inventory it's obviously under current assets and we have at the end of 2017 92,000 rand worth of inventory and at the end of 2018 60,000 rand okay so we have to add the two together divide them by two and it will give us what our average inventory is okay so here we go the inventory is the average inventory that is is 60,000 rand of the current year which we have over here plus the 92,000 of the previous year okay which we have over here and we're talking about closing balance of the previous year and closing balance of this year and we divide them by two and it gives us an amount of 76,000 rand that is the average inventory now we have the 
average inventory we have the cost of goods sold so we'll take the 475,000 rand cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory of 76,000 rand and here we have it it has given us an inventory turnover ratio of 6.25 what does it mean it means in any given period or in this period the company is turning over inventory into cash six times that means it's selling inventory over six times in a year or in the period and that is what the inventory turnover ratio is now you can compare this to the previous year let's say the previous year was 10 the inventory turnover ratio was 10. we can see here that this year it's 6.25 that means we're not turning over inventory into cash or we're not selling inventory as fast as we did the previous year okay and if we compare it to our competitors as well we may be able to see whether we are outperforming them or they are outperforming us okay so that is when this measure or this ratio makes sense it may also be used internally by the business to be able to see where the problem might be are we selling our inventory fast enough or are we selling it too fast where we are running out of inventory and we don't have anything to sell or is there something that we can do so that is how you analyze the inventory turnover ratio i hope this lesson has made sense we have done other lessons relating to inventory and you'll find them in the links in the description below otherwise if you have gained value from this lesson if you have learned something please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers